Hi! We are back to the third and final episode about building our own video RAM. So far, we have managed to display the RAM's content on the VGA monitor. Now we need to think about how we could share this RAM between our VGA circuit here and basically us wanting to access the RAM with a CPU. Usually a CPU will have some sort of memory address register, or MAR, pointing to a location in RAM. It will have a data bus and a control signal that indicates that the current data should be written into RAM. Since we are only concerned with the VGA side of things here, I'm going to use this dummy CPU setup of an Arduino Nano together with 374HC595 serial in parallel out shift registers. These are really standard ICs to enhance the I.O. capabilities of the Arduino and there are tons of tutorials out there that show how it works. The first two ICs will be the MAR and the third one here will play the data bus. The Arduino can shift 24 bits serially into these registers. That's coming from pin D2. D3 is the serial clock and at its rising edge our data bit at D2 is shifted in. Once we are done with all 24 bits, we can simultaneously update our register's output with a rising edge of the register clock coming from pin D4. And that's it. Um, but wait, we can't just simply connect this MAR to the address lines of our RAM, since we have already hooked up our VGA counter to it. Hmm, and our RAM here is outputting its content all the time. It won't be able to read anything from the bus. We need to come up with some way of time sharing our RAM chip between the display circuit and our CPU. That is exactly what's happening inside a Commodore 64, for example. So, how is this going to work? We need to rethink our timing. Our 2 MHz clock has two phases, the low and the high phase. What if we only use the low phase to read and display the RAM content with our VGA circuit and reserve the high phase for the CPU? That is actually pretty easy to do. We just connect the 2 MHz clock signal to the output enable pin of the RAM. But we also have to be able to switch off the address lines coming from the 16-bit counter. Otherwise we'll have this address line conflict. Since our counter chips unfortunately don't offer tri-state outputs, we need to introduce a buffer. We then connect the counter lines to the buffer's input and the buffer's output to the address lines of the RAM. Now disabling the buffer's output effectively disconnects the counter from the RAM address lines. Here is the full schematic drawing I have in mind showing both the VGA circuits and the CPU's RAM access. Another thing we need to reconsider is the point in time when we move a byte from RAM to the VGA shift register. So far we do that shortly after the rising edge of the 2 MHz clock. That's now outside the VGA's valid time window. It would be desirable to load right in the middle of the low phase of the 2 MHz clock. There's an easy solution here. If we send the 2 MHz signal into an OR gate, together with a 4 MHz signal. We get an output that is only low if both signals are low. As you can see, that is the case only in the first half of the low phase. And feeding this signal into our existing load pulse generator now yields the desired load pulse in the middle of the low phase. The rest is straightforward now. We can simply invert the 2 MHz clock and use that to enable the outputs of our 74595 registers together with the write enable of the RAM. So during the high phase of our clock we always write to the RAM. So to recap here, during the low clock phase the counter address is active and the RAM is outputting to the VGA monitor. And during the high phase the MAR and bus are active and the RAM is switched to write mode. Let's go and build all this.
Now if we power this up again, everything should still be working as before. But during the high clock phase, our CPU can now access our video RAM. For today, let me just quickly upload a program that clears the RAM and writes random numbers to it just for testing. Wow, now we can really see what we are writing to our video RAM. I don't know how you feel, but I'm a bit exhausted now. Let's call it a day and explore the software side of this in the next video. One thing I will definitely try is displaying text and some simple graphics, I guess. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.